What a great movie. I mean, just another addition to this Marvel MCU and everything that's been happening in the universe with all these characters. How does it feel to be bigger than just a regular movie where you could have action figures and video games that ends up being, you know, spinoffs from, from the title? Do you ever think about that when you're acting in a movie like this? Well, m merchandise and platforms and yeah. stuff like that. Mm -mm -mm. I think all the glitters isn't gold in some aspect when you get involved in something you you got I go in personally just for the, for the story and for the work and the character and keep it and like, and the team and 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 not try to focus on the, the the output or the options that are coming with the variables obviously the bigger the 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 piece like this you know there there are massive platforms and levels of you know um, optionality from games through to toys through to you know del taco mugs or whatever with you, you know your face on them in character and that but that that's but that's output the input is still, you know, what's the story? What are the characters? You know, what, 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 what the job that we have to do to pour ourselves into it to make it, to lift it up and make the best of the opportunity that's being presented to us. So mm. those kind of pressures, or is 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 the further end of the spectrum, say to the fans who who expect Venom to be there and it to be a, a really um, uh, honest and orthodox traditional Venom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I guess it's like, you know, you can have all the toys you want. If the movie's not good, then no one will buy them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. that's, the, that's the short of it. Yeah. Um, I, I want to know a little about your acting process and like how do you, because y'all both does such a great job in, in getting into characters and becoming these characters. Is it is it Thank a you. similar process each time when you get a script and you start trying to break down who this character is and how you're going to portray it, or, do you, or does it change with every? Mm character so to speak yeah I actually wanted to chat to you about that because we haven't spoken about that in a long time like how you yeah do you do the same way generally now every time or do you do it differently every time everything is different but it's the same checklist so but it's by osmosis now I, I, I like it as opposed to if you want to go to class and we want to train then we can go through that <laughs> for years do you know because yeah. I mean? I'm a geek you know what I mean in that yeah. aspect of yeah What's your, uh, what, what your what optionality the is? Of your checklist? What it's your that osmosis. Okay, if, if I'm really brutally honest, mm. I'll read something, I hear it, I see it, then I spend the rest of the time until the day of the, t you know, that we have to shoot it in trying to create what I can feel and see from the first read and then make that manifest. And then I use now sort of playback specifically to see if I'm zeroing in the character in the, in the area that I want it to be. Um, <clears throat> and that's after doing it for about 15 years, do you know what I mean? I simplified it into, okay, my first read, uh, then trying to make manifest that, and then that's the pickup point to then push it to go further. If we're in mm. theatre, then it gets hot, you know what I mean? And then there's the ensemble, then there's team, then there's alchemy. So there's a bunch of techniques there, but, but it's basic. I'll read it, hear it, see it, and try to emulate what's in my imagination. Mm. Yeah. Does that yeah, make sense? It's a, you know, that's a great question. People haven't question. really asked us that, and uh, it would be something that, yeah, I want, I want to continue talking with you about that. It's a technical question. It's um, it's something that I feel keeps evolving. I don't right. deliberately go into every project going, well, this one I'm going to uh, approach differently, I'm going to prepare for differently. But inevitably, the project will tell you in some way, something in the process, in the team, in the amount of time you have to prepare, will mean that it is always slightly different every time. Mm. So as much as I like to always try and have certain basics of a checklist of like, oh, I'm going to go through the, through the script like this, I'm going to do research like this, you know, I'm going to kind of draw my personal life, find scenes where I can, you know, do this, but really connect with it, find, you know, and all this kind of stuff, the checklist, certain things will fall off and certain things will come to the fore yeah. for different projects based on what the working conditions are, what the character is, what the co-stars are, if you've um, got rehearsals or not, you know, yeah. so it's interesting, you go in with a template, but every project comes and like sculpts its own unique yeah. shape from the, from those raw ingredients yeah <laughs> and alchemy you, you can't you can't yeah it's kind of, that's, the, that's the thing yeah. i'm trying to learn the most uh, the more i act is like actually uh, you don't really control it you know yeah. or at least yeah. it's it's a, you, your work is it's at its best when you're at peace with that you're not trying to control it really right eddie's character this has this obsession that interferes with his relationship and I, I imagine that both of you like because you see like I put so much into your work as an actor that 
it must be obsessive at times the, the amount of work that you do to, to your craft. Have, how do you keep that from getting messing up your personal relationships and things that's going on, your obsession for your, your craft? The work-life balance is key for any professional. Do you know what I mean? I think you ask that question of anybody, whether it's a you know a dentist to a, to a, a nursery school teacher. Do you know what I mean? If you you know you work to live or you live to work, do you know what I mean? That work-life balance is is specifically unique to the individual. But has that shifted for you that balance? Because I feel like yeah, I mean you got kids now and stuff. Well, to, to, to be fair, mate, I don't talk about kids, but like the long and short of it, it, it is is I think if you are choosing a vocation or a practice whereby it's not just a job, you're not punching the clock. You're going yeah, exactly. to you're going to have a, a hard graft in the beginning, in the early stages to establish yourself. Um, Establishing oneself can take many, many, many years, and you know you have to. At that point, you you are going to sacrifice things. Um, it's not for the faint-hearted certain career choices. Yeah. Um, I'm not serving my country in the military by any means. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. As an artist, do you know what I mean? You're, you're entering a vocation which is specific, whereby the risk and the sacrifice is like your time. You know, is going to be is going to be taken up. Um, <coughs> by like you say I wouldn't call it obsession but by, by focusing on a specific task luckily with you with music as an individual it's quite an isolatory aspect of writing it's quite an isolatory aspect with, with acting it's it's an ensemble piece so you, you've got to find teams do you know what I mean so you've got to know your own corner and then work with teams to get on a team is really hard yeah. and then to work your way up so it's a bit top heavy <clears throat> right. and yeah it does interfere with your, so, you know, your, your private life but well, man, I love seeing you guys on screen you know, so, uh, Hey, we can talk more about the movie. Everybody's gonna see it, but I'm glad we got to talk about acting. Cause yeah, man, great questions. Yeah, great questions.